All right, so welcome to day seven. So I woke up early today, already done a tour of the ship, which I highly recommend. So if you can get that on day one, that way you can get acquainted with where everything's located. Uh, so today it's gonna be a chill day. We're just gonna relax by the pool, enjoy, uh, explore some of the adult areas. We already have Killian in the club. That's all he wants to do. <laughs> That's all he wants to do. Uh, we were very busy, so we had a family pool day yesterday and so today, they, he didn't make it to the kids club much, but today, after breakfast, we chipped him out. Um, but first, we, we want to get a workout in. Typically at this, you know, when you have so many days at sea, you feel you really have to work out to, in order to indulge in all the desserts. So that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, this is our third day on our journey to Bermuda, so we should be about halfway through. Uh, two more days and we'll be there. Uh, seven day overall. So far uh, everything's been going great on the Atlantic. Really no major issues other than an occasional you know movement. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, it's, it's awesome. We haven't had any rain, mostly uh, sunshine which has been good. Hopefully they'll open up uh, some of the other pools today so we can show you. Uh, and then yeah, oh and today we're also gonna have our first uh, adult dinner so very excited for that. So we made an arrangement with the family and our table that we're gonna chip the kids to the club and it's just gonna be a, an adult time. So it should be nice. So that's a good alternative if um, you know, if you don't have a reservation on like Remy Paulo for dinner, send your kids to the club, just have dinner, just two adults and you can enjoy a nice dinner. So I'll take you there. Pro tip, so if you have uh, clothing, wet clothing that you wanna hang after a nice day at the pool, they do have these hangers here that you can use. Basically, it looks like a fire alarm, which I thought is, is what it was. So, but you just pull it and it just clips on the end. So, it's pretty nice. So then you don't have to pack any strings in case you want to hang out. Hang some stuff to dry. How cool is that? This is like a Miami Vice, but with, uh, let's see, piña colada. There you go. Raspberry puree. Thank you. Just pro tip, so Disney does allow two bottles of wine per port. So if you have two adults in your stateroom, you each can bring two bottles for a total of four bottles. And if you ask room service, they will bring you a course crew and even uh, help you open it. And they'll also bring you glasses, which means uh, you can then take your drinks to dinner if you want. Otherwise, if you just want to purchase, it's a, on average about $30 a bottle if you get like the multiple day package. Keep that in mind. Cheers. This is a uh, Greek pastry. A What's it called? A spanakopita. Yes. Gambas a la heel. Oh. How is it? It's really nice. Nice? Yeah, it's good. It's like a, like a spinach pastry. Spinach feta and then it's on like a tomato sauce. It's good. Nice. Okay. So mine are like uh, camarones al moco de ajo, which is like garlic it? shrimp. It's really nice. Yeah, nice. All right. Nice. Very garlicky. If you like garlic, it's definitely the dish for you. Yeah. I'm gonna dip it into sauce for the, for the next one. Yeah. You see the garlic drip in there? Mm. 
nice and lovely. Pairs really well with the Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. So today we're doing uh, white wine, it goes really nice. So if you're into wine pairing and you're not sure, ask um, your attendant. They're really good about recommending different wines to have with your meal, to have all the knowledge. So definitely do that. If you're gonna be drinking multiple nights, uh, there's packages you can get. So there's like a two night package, three night, four night, all the way to seven. The higher the nights, the cheaper the per bottle price. So keep that in mind. So this is the butternut squash risotto. This is the vegetarian option for the day. And this is the chicken kebab with marinated with the yogurt sauce and what appears to be some type of pico de gallo. What is it? Tomato or something? Yeah, I think just, no, peppers. Peppers, red peppers. No peppers. Red peppers. So, Hopefully we'll give it a bit of a kick. Yeah. Of course we got our chili sauce, so... So this is the uh, chicken kebab. Got some grilled onions, some peppers. The flavors are solid. That's, um, Expecting more of a kick, but we do have chili sauce, which is gonna help. But it's uh, chickens, uh, you know, perfectly cooked. It's nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy it, but it's, it's, uh, it's two more sauce. Here. Okay. This is uh, for today the strawberry cream puff. Yeah. The presentation is super nice. Super cute. And I'm having a chocolate tart. Today is day seven, and we got an elephant. All right, so we're gonna end it here. It was a fun day seven. We got two more days at sea before we reach Bermuda. But today was fun. We had a nice gym, uh, adult pool day. Killian hung out at the club most of the day. And we had an adults only dinner. That's right, adults only dinner. So the kids were at the club and we just enjoyed a leisure dinner. It was quite nice. And after that, we watched the Beauty and the Beast Broadway show, which was amazing. So even if you don't know the story, I mean, for a Broadway production like that, in a cruise, it's just off the charts. Really good. Uh, and the kids, of course, had a great time. They could have probably stayed in the kids' club another hour till midnight, but it's time to get them. So that's going to do it for us. Two more days at sea. This is the end of day seven. We'll see you tomorrow for day eight as we get close to Bermuda. See ya.